Hello all together, my name is Peter Albers, I'm chair of the scientific office of the EAU. This year's EAU is the virtual one, 21, and um, I'm very glad that I can hand over the prize, um, the prestigious prize of the Prostate Cancer Research Prize from the EAU this year to Wolfgang Fendler in Essen. This prize uh, has a certain history. It's actually given by Professor Fritz Schröder, who was the PI of the ESPC study and uh, is given since 2013. So this year we have the eighth prize um, of this uh, prestigious award. And I'm very happy that this award goes to um, a representative from the nuclear medicine um, department in the University of Essen. Um, I think this is a future um, collaboration and I give over some words to Wolfgang Fendler who could explain um, about his um, prestigious publication, um, groundbreaking more or less in a certain indication and Wolfgang perhaps you may elucidate this finding. Thank you very much. I do highly appreciate the honor of this prestigious award. Um, which is uh, very onerous to me, but also all colleagues who tremendously contributed to this uh, work. Which is most importantly to name Boris Hadashik, Ken Hermann and Manuel Weber, co-authors as well as researchers from University of California, Los Angeles and San Francisco, Peter Mac Cancer Center in Melbourne and the two Munich universities and the Janssen team. The Essen team welcomes you to our home base, the medical campus of the Essen University Hospital right behind me. Prostate cancer spread happens on a molecular level way before any appearance of symptoms or radiographic progression. Therefore, we have looked at a novel molecular imaging test of the prostate specific membrane antigen, which is present at high levels on prostate cancer cell surface. This test works through the injection and positron emission tomography imaging of trace amounts of a radioactive marker of prostate cancer. And this marker is called gallium pism A and is produced right behind me in this building in our radio pharmacy. We have imaged with pism A PET patients with castration resistant prostate cancer that demonstrate higher PSA doubling time or higher Gleason score but no symptoms of disease on CT, MRI or bone scan. We were able to show that this molecular imaging test PSMA PET localizes disease in almost all of these patients. Strikingly, about half of the patients without findings on any, any other imaging shown distant metastasis on PSMA PET. And the other half had tumor disease um, at the prostate bed or local lymph nodes. These findings come with huge implications for us on how we perceive tumor stage. Through the eyes of PSMA PET, more than half of patients with so-called non-metastatic prostate cancer, in fact, are metastatic. And these patients would, however, still be eligible for non-metastatic on-label therapies. But on the other hand, PSMA PET enables novel forms of precise metastasis-directed therapy and guidance. Two highly innovative fields, urology and nuclear medicine, joined together for the clinical implementation of this new test of PSMA PET, which will lead to new applications for tumor detection, treatment guidance, and most important, also effective PSMA radioligand therapy. So I congratulate, congratulate the whole group, the multicenter group, the international group uh, led by the Essen team and hand over the prize to you, Wolfgang. All the best and I think it's a future collaboration which is now really on, a, on the edge and uh, will really pr produce certain developments in the field that we certainly will see in the future. Thanks so much. Thank you very much.